Okay, hello everyone. All right, so sometimes you may also want to format um, values as integers, right? You may want uh, in your system that the printf method, you you may want um, your placeholders to be replaced by integers and and formatted in in a specific way. And the way you do that is with percentage d instead of percentage f. Percentage f is for floats. Percentage d is for integers. Um, so let's see an example. So system dot out dot print f we know it takes a couple of arguments our format string which includes our format specify so a format specify for an integer we can say for example this um, let's say my favorite integer is and then I'm going to create a format specify which is going to be a percentage not f but d so percentage d for integers actually this d stands for decimal integer I don't know what <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know um, it's funny because I was just making a joke about this the other time that I don't know what it means but <laughs> but that's what a D stands for decimal integer okay this is for integers so basically an integer is going to replace this placeholder and it's going to be formatted based on how we specify um, this format so I can go ahead before that let's create a variable let's create an integer variable so int I'm going to call it um, number and I'm going to initialize it with the value let's say 4 and so number here is going to replace this placeholder right uh, actually let's just let's use two of them so my favorite integers are percentage d so that's my first form, first format specifier and percentage d that's another format specifier the other number that's going to replace this uh, placeholder is going to be another variable number two which is equal to another integer which is let's say eight so I'm going to put in a comma and put in number two here so basically these are placeholders just like the way we talked about float floating point we've created two um, placeholders or two more fo two format specifiers in, in this format string in this format string we have two format specifiers percentage d percentage d but d stands for decimal integer so basically this is for integers in other words a, a certain number is going to replace or no, a set, certain numbers are going to replace these placeholders we talked about the fact that the way these um, the way these values replace these placeholders, okay, they, they, they are replaced, the, the, the numbers here, the um, arguments here, replace these placeholders in a respective manner, which means the first argument is going to replace the very first format specify in this format string. The second argument is going to replace the second format specify in this format string. All right, so let's compile this and then run and see how it's displayed. So my favorite integers are four and eight. Okay, that's their integers, percentage d, right? Now, would, because they're integers, you can't specify a precision, right? We know this, the precision goes in between the percentage and then the conversion character. So if you if you try to format an integer to, into let's say uh, to let's say two decimal places, if you try to do let's say point two for two decimal places, you're going to get an error. Let's do the same thing for this point two. Compile this. It compiles alright, but when you run it, you're going to get an error over here, right? So it's illegal format for format precision ex exception because this is an integer, so you can use precision for integers. I'm going to remove that, but you can do other things. We can, you can add other flags, um, for example, if you want this integer formatted in a specific way, uh, we can we can add other flags so that it can be formatted in a, in a specific way, but not as um, as floating point values. If you want to format a floating point value, you use percentage f. And then you add you you format it in a way that you want it formatted, right? So that is um, something um, you have to know, right? So so, you, so that you don't use percentage f for integers. Um, no, use percentage d for for integers. All right. So if you have any questions, again, we'll see more of this. We'll see other variations of this, so you can have a better sense of um, these um, format specifiers and uh, conversion characters and flags. These extra things we put in this. Uh, format specify to format numbers in a specific way all right so if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything to respond to them thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye